Historically, you know, bladder cancer has been one of the most difficult cancers to treat uh, among the solid tumors in, uh, in oncology for a long time. Uh, this is a patient population that's pretty sick. Uh, many of these patients are diagnosed later in life, in their 50s, 60s, 80s even. And uh, these are patients that typically have a history of smoking, uh, can have a, a number of other comorbidities, including cardiovascular issues, uh, diabetes, or uh, other, other medical concerns, uh, pulmonary and asthma and bronchitis issues. But the real problem has been the cancer. In bladder cancer, up until very recently, all of our therapies have been based on platinum-based, particularly cisplatinum-based chemotherapy, which is a difficult chemotherapy, even in our healthy patients, to tolerate. Many of our bladder cancer patients uh, have just not been able to either tolerate or just been an ineligible to, uh, to get platinum-based chemotherapy. Even in those patients who are able to uh, tolerate platinum-based chemotherapy, our response rates tend to be limited. They tend to be subtotal, and uh, they tend to recur within six months of completing the chemotherapy. Following platinum-based chemotherapy, there really hasn't been any therapy that's shown a reproducible, reliable, and durable treatment response. Most of our small phase two studies and, and even limited phase three studies in platinum refractory patients have hover around a 10% response rate. So the majority of patients kind of blasting through that and median survivals following platinum-based chemotherapy are a dismal six to nine months uh, historically. So this has been a tremendous unmet need in the field for, for decades now and, uh, and until just recently. Immunotherapy has been a, a real paradigm shift in oncology in the last few years in a number of cancers. But there is perhaps no greater uh, unfulfilled need than uh, platinum refractory bladder cancer. I mean, this has been the population of patients where we've really had nothing to offer these folks. They're sick, they've had platinum chemotherapy. Many of them either didn't respond to it or responded for a while, uh, but then progressed. Many of the patients are symptomatic still from their platinum-based chemotherapy with complications, including uh, issues with neuropathies and, uh, and, and nephritis. The reality is, is we have no therapies up until just recently to offer these patients that have a reliable response rate or any real hope of a durable effect. And then immunotherapy comes into the field, particularly the checkpoint inhibitors, PDL1 inhibitors and uh, PD1 inhibitors. And what we've seen over and over again is a reliable 20 to 30 percent response rate uh, in these patients that historically have had nothing available for them. And even more remarkable is the duration of these responses. I mean, these are just life-changing, hope-giving uh, effects that um, I, I know we've seen these effects in other cancers, but we've really seen nothing work in bladder cancer in this setting. And believe me, we've tried all kinds of classes of drugs. So for immunotherapy to literally walk in to the, one of the most refractory settings of cancer, one of our most difficult patient populations, and to show a reproducible, recurrent, and durable treatment response is, is really nothing short of remarkable.